Ending abruptly in 1982, the sport of hockey disappeared from St. Vincent College, and it lied dormant for 17 years. That was until the 1998-1999 school year when Professor Tom Holowaty and his son Tim decided to approach the administration on a growing interest on campus for a hockey team. Upon the school's approval, the commissioner of the Western Pennsylvania Intercollegiate Hockey Association, Mike Kalina, established St. Vincent as a hockey team for the fall of 1999. Also that commissioner, Mike Kalina, he was a St. Vincent hockey alumnus. Next step for Holowaty was for him to find a coach for the team. After an intense search, they looked to former player Mike Zemanski, Z-Man for short, to take up the job. And he was more than willing to head the team. He began recruiting high school players in the surrounding areas to come play for his team, along with recruiting current students to dust off the skates once again and come play. Towards the end of the 1999 spring semester, almost everything was complete for their team to have a season, except for one thing. There was no goaltender. By the end of the summer, there was a late commitment by freshman goaltender Josh Sokolowitzki, and the final piece had fallen into place. The Bearcats were out of their 17-year hibernation, and they were ready to play. Before the 1999-2000 season, Coach Z met with the players to discuss their upcoming season. There were 13 games ahead of them. Those opponents were CMU, UPJ, WNJ, Cal U, CCAC, Youngtown State, and Penn State West. The team began practicing in September in preparation for their first game against Carnegie Mellon. Early October marked the official rebirth of Bearcat hockey. The first two games of the season ended with close losses against CMU and University of Pittsburgh Johnstown. Coach Z saw there was a need for a change. After reordering the lineup, St. Vincent earned four wins and two ties in their next six games, with underdog wins against UPJ, Youngstown State, and a 10-6 win against Penn State West. The Bearcats were 4-2-2 at the end of the first semester. This showed that the team was new, yet a formidable opponent to go against. The turn of the millennium brought around the second semester and excitement to the St. Vincent team. They began their spring semester with a crushing 7-0 shutout win over CCAC. But the excitement wouldn't last. The 2000 team would lose first liner Todd Evans to a December graduation. This change began to show after the first game of the spring semester, where the Bearcats would go on to lose back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back games. Their final game was against Youngstown State, who they beat 9-7. The Bearcats ended with a 6-5-2 record and proved that St. Vincent was back and back to stay at that. Stars of the team were quick to show their shine. First line center Brett Martz scored 34 goals, 44 points, and 48 penalty minutes. Martz's right winger Jesse Podlucky led the team in assists with 12, showing his skill in passing the puck. Lastly, that freshman goaltender that the team needed to start their season, he had an 8-6-4 save percentage in one shutout. The Bearcats looked optimistic for their future. Hockey had returned to Latrobe, and it seemed like the only way to go from here was up. If only they knew what next season held for them.